good afternoon YouTube. I am currently in my car driving to London for the Air to the Throne contest which is a bronze stop on the FMB World Tour. It's part of the London Bike Show this weekend which is taking place at the Excel Centre and the course is a little bit different for us. It's just three straight jump boxes which is a bit unusual for a mountain bike contest but I think nonetheless it's going to be a great weekend anyway. Me sitting here talking is not exciting so I'm going to cut some riding clips from today and then I think tonight we're going to head into London and ride streets so I will check in with you guys just before that. Just wrapped up the day riding practice and shows. Just pulled up in a car park in London where we're going to be riding some street whilst everyone else is out drinking. <laughs> Tuesday after the event and I'm back at home editing this video so I can get it online as soon as possible. I actually ended up taking a seventh place in the event which I was really happy about because there were some really good riders from all over the world turn up. Some of the footage that I got from the finals and the qualification isn't necessarily the best just because it's difficult to film an event and ride in it at exactly the same time so hopefully the footage that I have got and me being able to sit here and tell you guys what happened is enough so that you can get a good recap and an idea of how the event was from my perspective. On Saturday in the qualifying rounds I missed out on the semi-finals by one spot because my run which I was hoping would bump me through I actually slipped out on a flare which I'll play to you right now. Giving, giving high fives and someone held that coffee. Narrowly avoided a huge mistake there from 
This was super frustrating, however it wasn't the end of the world because on Sunday morning there was a last chance qualifier that takes place, giving everyone that didn't qualify on the Saturday another chance to make it through to the semi-final for Sunday afternoon. However, I was playing with fire because in that session, my first run, I slipped out on a flare once again. From yesterday, listen to this. 360 on one foot can and a 360 tail whip into the corner as he got the alley you flare! Oh. He's come unstuck. So when I slipped down that flare for the second time, I couldn't believe it. I crashed twice on the same trick. Um, then this put the pressure on because it meant that I only had one more run in which I could try and make it into the semi-final that was coming up later that afternoon. So with my next run, I had to play it safer and make sure that I got a run down. As it turns out, playing it safe was the best option and I actually qualified first out of the last chance qualifiers which put me in a good position for the semi-finals and I was feeling stoked. So the semi-finals came and this was 18 riders and that meant that 8 went through to the final so quite a lot of riders were cut out and I knew I needed to do a big run to make it into the final 8 so I brought out the 720 again and there was no way for a third time in a row was I slipping out on the flare. <laughs> Landing that run in the semi-final made me really stoked because it made me finish in 7th place which obviously put me inside that top 8 and meant that I made the final later that afternoon. And coming into this weekend that was my main goal was just to reach that final. The final didn't actually go to plan for me, um, the format was quite a long one, you had to do 3 runs and 2 of them count. Um, unfortunately my first 2 runs I actually made mistakes so it meant that I would never have scored a good position anyway. However I did manage to get my final run down which I haven't actually got on film but it was the same as the qualifying run. So after getting only one run in the finals, I eventually finished in seventh position, which coincidentally is the same that I finished in the qualifying round. I hope you've enjoyed this short recap video from the London Bike Show, and it's given you a good insight to what it's like from a rider's perspective. And also, I'd just like to thank every single one of you that came out and watched the event this weekend. Your support goes a long way, and it really does help to keep you stoked whilst you're out there. I'm going to be filming a video later on this week with Sam, so I'll catch up with you guys then over on his channel.